my name is Lee Aver, and I'm 21 from Stamford, Connecticut. Okay, I'm a fine art major, and I minor in advertising illustration, so I want to go into advertising or marketing and be on the creative side of that, and then eventually get into the part where I'm managing it, kind of telling people what the idea is, and then have them do it. Um, but then on the side, I definitely want to illustrate books, children's books. Hi, I remember Lee sending her off to school when she was a little kid, and they sent they, they asked you for a small box of crayons, and I sent her in with a box of colored pencils. You know, all her, her choice. We went in and we picked out all the colored pencils she liked. And the teacher came back and said, I said, crayons, not pencils. And I said, this is a child who has been in my studio since, since she could stand up, since she could, forever, she's been in my studio. And when she finally was able to draw and hold something, it was a colored pencil. Because you can't accomplish anything with crayons except, it, it just, you can't do what she does. She would draw little one-inch high people. <laughs> so elaborate, with little shoes on and pocketbooks and little outfits and little beads on their, you know, pearls on their neck and hairdos. And this is what she did when she was little. She just kept drawing little people. And how can you do that with a crayon? I just couldn't ask her to go backwards like that. Well, I focus a lot on people and... Um, I've developed uh, kind of my own style because um, my mom never would teach me how to do anything. She would just tell me to do it. So um, I, my style is really realistic, but at the same time it's kind of graphic. As she got older, before she was 10 or 11, kept growing bigger and bigger. So, you know, from one inch when she was under five to, um, to massive size, I was getting her three-foot canvases. And she was then drawing on the canvases and then painting them in afterwards. So, you know, it, it just was a progression that, um, that I think colored crayons would have deterred her from that and colored pencils and um, kept her going in the same direction that I think she wanted to go in. I never pushed her. I never said you had to go this way. I never said right now <laughs> I'm going to start a painting of inside of a mouth. I don't know, I find things that have a lot of detail to it to be interesting. Can you tell me about the drawing that you worked on with me? Oh yeah, um, well that's what I'm actually starting to work on a painting of, but um, for my portfolio class, um, I'm starting a series of works of art that are going to be close-ups of the mouth that are eating food, and so the drawing I did with you was with pastels and um, charcoal, and pretty much just I took a photo of myself eating bok choy, which is a vegetable, and um, I just zoomed in on my mouth, and um, I don't know. It's just Lee is really, really talented in terms of just depicting things um, representationally and being, uh, uh, she has a great sort of verisimilitude in terms of like, rendering textures and forms and, and I know from the very first drawings I saw her do and, and drawing two even of the mouth is that she can just capture the texture that's present on um, your tongue and your skin and how like if, if you have uh, a gloss or saliva on the tip of your uh, lips there's a certain sheen to it and I think she, she just is really adept at capturing textures and forms that uh, make those images come alive in a way. Like all of her imagery has so much color and life to it. And um, a, a lot of work often can feel kind of flat, particularly if it's just a copy from a photograph. And, and she really is great at pushing color and, and punching um, those, that sort of range of hues and chroma and texture and so I just think she's a fantastic uh, artist and individual and I'm really proud to have gotten to work with her.